<laughs> you know, theaters are good, but drive-ins just seem better. Don't get me wrong, I love the theater. Just, uh, look at my last, like, my last trip there. Ah, how I love the theater. The disrespectful people with their cell phones, children crying everywhere, not being able to stop it. Ah! <sighs> okay. So, that's why they made the drive-in. So we could all, like, have fun without the screaming children. No, I'm not going to go into that again. And while at the drive-in, I viewed two movies. Those movies are... Despicable Me, the funniest of the two, of course. And... Toy Story 3, the movie with the saddest ending of the two. So let's go ahead and review the fun, the funniest one of them all. Despicable Me. Which I think is really, really hilarious. That's what I love about the drive-in. You get two, you get one, you pay for two tickets if it's two people. One for it's one per, or if it's one person. And you get two movies for one ticket. And if you got people under five to eleven usually, maybe even twelve, You'll get children, we'll get like, we'll get to get them for free, basically. So that's what I love about the drive-in. Despicable Me is basically all about, the movie is about Gru, a supervillain who basically just wants to be the top villain of all, when he realizes someone stole the pyramids and plans to shrink and take the moon. Gru then sees three little girls. They're orphans, but we never know if they're orphaned or they never knew their parents. The movie never explains it. Well, anyways... So anyway, the girls Margo, Edith, and Agnes can get into the other supervillain's name, Lair. Vector is the other villain. He's basically the guy who stole the pyramid, and he's all around a jerk. He steals the shrink ray from Gru, which is needed to shrink the moon, and the only way Gru can get into like his lair is by using the three little girls to get in, because he sees that when they deliver cookies, they get in. So, he tells the other scientist, name unknown, to basically make cookie, ro cookie robots, which make the, which make, which he mistakes for boogie robots, because he's old. But, I'm getting too far, we need to talk about the funniest of them all. You know who I'm talking about. The... Minions. The adorable little things that IHOP has gone crazy about. I mean, really. They're just so hilarious throughout the movie. Even during the sad part, it goes up to one of the little minions crying. And I, and I like, um, I laugh my butt, my ass off. I mean, seriously. These guys could make Jay Leno stand down from the comedy, comedy platform. But I'm getting too far into this. I know what we all came here to see, right? We came here to see... Toy Story 3 is basically... Uh the third installment in the Toy Story series, of course, and it introduces, like, a whole, like, buttload of new characters, and in the beginning, they, you may have noticed some of the toys are missing. That's all because, like, uh, 
they've either been took took to charity, sold in a yard sale, or thrown out. And basically, it's just Woody, Buzz, Mr. Potato Head, Jesse, Mrs. Potato Head, uh, Rex, Ham, the aliens, S Slinky, Bullseye. Basically, the whole like in the in the in crowd kind of thing, yeah. So, uh, it's got a lot of great scenes, like, um, breaking out, when they're breaking out of, uh, Sunnyside Daycare, the trash, the, uh, scene where they're in the dump. And it's all like, it's so cool seeing it. Of course, Barbie stays behind away because the other toys, what, you don't remember Barbie from the first movie? She was the one, yeah, you remember, okay. So, uh, yeah. The scene everyone remembers, everybody's talking about, is the ending scene. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but just the way that's all put together makes you kind of sad. Um, you can't really see me right now. Um, yeah. Um, Technical difficulties, that's the end of the movie review. Bye.